now Peter Schmidt. You are the author of, author of Move Over Violent. This is a new book that you have out about a Reedsville basketball team. Kind of briefly tell us about this story of this basketball team. Well, it started in 1994. Uh, Warren Otto, who was the former coach at Two Rivers High School, and Jim Wagner, who succeeded him, went down to the Indiana High School Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. And they were so impressed by it, especially the section on Hickory or mm -hmm. My land, excuse mm -hmm. me, it became Hickory in the movie. Exactly. And they came back and Warren says, Pete, he says, you should write a book on this. Well, I was living in Alabama at the time. And I said, why Reedsville? He says, well, they were the first small school to win an uh, open classification tournament, mm -hmm. beat three schools that had close to 4,000 enrollment. So I said, okay, I'll, I'll look about it, think about it. So I wrote the school. They sent me a ton of material. Then I contacted two coaches who were still alive. Mm -hmm. But I kind of put it on the table, moved back to Wisconsin in 2000, wrote two other books before I finally said, Pete, it's time to do the Reesville thing. And, and now we have this book. What makes this story so incredible, so different than others? Well, the fact that they not only they beat three big schools, plus they beat Nina in the sectional, right. first round of the sectional. So, and it was a very compelling story because at the sectional, they had this huge snowstorm. Mm -hmm. which almost canceled the tournament, but okay. they played it. Uh, the players stayed in the homes of uh, the New London players. That's where it was held. Oh, wow. Uh, half the team didn't get there till tip-off time. So The odds were stacked against this team. Yes, it was, but uh, they had the inner faith they were going to all do this. Mm -hmm. uh, they didn't come out and say we're going to win the state, but they, this was a goal. Once they got on a roll winning these games, they said, we can make it to Madison, and they did. What makes the underdog story so great to hear? Well, it's the old David Goliath thing, yeah. you know. Yeah. And uh, I said in the end of the book, uh, uh, maybe now David and Goliath are good friends. <laughs> they're living in some cave in some <laughs> biblical part of the world, and now they're good buddies. Uh, but, mm -hmm. you know, Goliath always gets irritated when he has to prove his superiority mm -hmm. like he did at night. But that night he didn't. Mm -hmm. And there are many stories like that. Mm -hmm. uh, my land was one of them, you know. And you actually interviewed some of these players. Yes, I did. About three or four of the players from uh, uh, Reedsville. Uh, Buster Kugel and Henry Benke mm -hmm. were two that were just were so gracious with their time. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking forward to seeing uh, Henry. Uh, Sunday at the book signing in Reesville. Absolutely. So. Yeah, that's right. And you have the book yes. signing coming up this mm -hmm. Sunday. So right. people can come down there. They can buy this on Amazon, but they can also come yeah. down and really just talk to you about the story. It's a, it's a vendor's fair they mm -hmm. have every year that people, arts and crafts come in. Right, right. And uh, I don't know what category I'm going to be in, but uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Sounds absolutely wonderful. Thank you for writing such a great book. For more information about Peter's book, Move Over Myland, It's Reedsville's Time, visit our website and click on the story. We have a link for you right there. Well, coming up next.